Hi everyone, Mary Nespresso Press Design. <laughs> Welcome on this is it July 6th, 16th. Yes, I think it is. I'm losing my track of time, seriously. But today we're going to make a little quick summertime pocket insert that I came up with. And uh, once I'm going to give you some measurements, but once you do it, you'll just be able to do it any size from memory. So first, the only product I was able to do this week is Naturalist Botanicals. And it is on Shopify and Etsy because it goes with the other naturalist collections. It has berries, flowers, leaves, text, and vintage. I think it's 11 pages. So that'll be nice for summer harvest type. All different kinds of berries, different leaves, different flowers. I thought it would be nice for summer type harvest type paper. So here is the little pockets and I forgot to write down my um, thank yous but thank you so much for all of the orders and the kind reviews and the kind comments and prayers. Uh, my brother is still in a nursing home. I, they're trying very hard to get him back home, but at this point I don't know that that's going to happen. So, as you can imagine, I've been quite busy with that. But, um, thank you so much for everything. So these are the little pocket inserts. And there's a little tuck spot pocket in the side and a little pocket in the top, which I made a little three by four card. And I made, I just took a couple different sheets of paper and made them all a little different, but all coordinating. And then, um, let me get my book here and show you, let's see which one, let's do this one. This can just get tucked in another pocket. You could make it another pocket put something in the back. Um, let's see. I'm pretty sure you could also make it a side pocket and put something in the side. Or you could just leave it as a little insert if you desire. So very fast. Very fast. Okay, so what you'll need, as I said, I did give you a, I'm going to give you a standard measurement, and I did use double-sided, but you can use single-sided, you can use digitals, and I just cut this down from a 12 by 12, and then I have these left, and I have this left. This isn't this isn't in the 12 by 12 series, but it's fast. So you'll need this these measurements are eight and a half by four and a quarter. And then we're just gonna do one score. You can do two scores if you desire, but you don't even need that. So again, eight and a half on the long side by four and a quarter, and we're going to make a score at five. 
and one and a half. And I probably should have turned that paper upside down because I wanted to fold that one the other way. So pay attention to your direction. I'm going to fold this one this way. That's your fold. And then I'm going to do this one the opposite. And turn it upside down so the flowers are the front design. So again, it's eight and a half, a score at five, and a score at one and a half. Please tell me I did that. Yeah, okay. So I want that to fold in that way, and that to fold over that way. I mean, not that you couldn't do it the other way. You certainly can. But I kind of like this on, I kind of liked this on the left. So when you have a directional paper, as this one was also directional, just turn it upside down to get it to go right. like I did this one. So that's all you need for that. And you'll need some glue and you'll need a punch. So let me get my small punch here. So you are going to punch your notch on the fold out piece that is closest to the fold. I'm going to do that, and I'm sorry, I burnt my hand on the panini press, so I have two blisters, and I'd rather leave them open so they heal. Yeah, how I don't even want to tell you how smart that was. <laughs> I was, had the panini press on, it's as hot as an iron, and um, was reaching for the salt to set the table, thought there was enough space there for me to get my arm in there, and there wasn't. And then I, all I had to do was pull out the panini press so there was more room and I just thought, well, I tried it this way. Let me try it this way. And then I burnt myself again. It wasn't very bright. <laughs> but that's what happens when you're in a hurry. So our next notch is going to be down here at this end. But of course, you can put it wherever you want. And I always save those. I save these little pieces here. Because if you're using single-sided paper, you'll need it to cover that little white spot. So that's it for that one. Isn't that cute? And then, let's do this one. And ideally, you're going to be doing these with scraps. That was, that was, these were all scraps. This is not scraps. So you can just take a bunch of your scraps outside, have a nice seat, a nice cool drink beside you, 
and make a bunch of these. And then this one you could also just glue down here and then you'll have a larger tuck space. But I glued it like a pocket. So that's another thing that's going to be up to you. And then we're just going to glue across here. Glue this pocket first. Glue across here. And here. And glue that one second. Of course, if you want to ink, you can. I, I never, I seldom ink scrapbook paper. Okay, there's one. If you want, you could tape that bottom to get the max pocket room. So, oh my, you guys, I am so busy. Didn't take time to go to the fair. And I want to tell you, this little girl, she surely warmed my heart. Um, farm kids are so smart. She couldn't have been more than four years old. Sweetest little face. And she was um, feeding her goats. And she was measuring out the correct amount of feed in a cup. She had her little farm boots on. She climbed the fence because she couldn't reach it. She climbed the fence, reached over, and put the right amount in their the goat little goat feeder. Like she, I by I guarantee by eight years old she will be running that farm. That's what I mean by farm kids are so smart. They they learn things so fast. They learn how to care for things so fast. I guarantee she was not over four years old. So it was so sweet. I love goats anyway, but um, yeah, that was so, such a sweet memory I have. I did not take my camera. Usually I would, but because it's always so colorful. I did not take my camera. So these... I can cut these down. Make some little tabs. Let me see how much time I have. Okay, we're at 15 minutes. See how fast that was? And as soon as you get that, you can make those any size you want. Okay, I'm going to cut these down to 3 by 4 and then see what we have left. To decorate with. Not much, but we'll see. I might cut down a little more to do a couple more tabs. I 
And then, of course, I, you know, the other, the great other nice thing about the fair is all of the food. So, and some good food. I did not get a funnel cake. I decided this year I wanted to try something new. So that's what I did. Had some ice cream instead. And this was really, this was really the first year. It, it's kind of full steam like it was before pre-lockdown. We walked for hours. Literally walked for how many hours? Five hours? Except for when we were sitting down to eat. I was so tired when we got home. Okay, what can I do with this? Well, I could put it there. That would be cute. I don't have enough room because of the notch. Or I could put it on the back. Yeah, I'm going to put it on the back for a belly band. That's what I'm going to do. Then you have another little tuck spot. Yeah, that'll be cute. Let me see. Night, line it up with the notch. So these are a little different. These are a little different. Line that up. Make sure I'm even. Okay. Just take that out a minute. Cover that big flower, but that's okay. I guess I should have perused those to choose choose the the best choice of flower design, but. So I'm lining that up with the, the notch in the front for no particular reason. That way you can tuck something in from either side without having to worry about it. one's dry yet. Yeah, there you can tuck something else in there. Um, since no thing is complete without tabs, I 
Let me see. It would have been nice if I could have got those, um, the other side of the paper showing for that pocket. Okay, let me see. I don't need that much for tabs, so let me cut. Another inch and a half off there. Two, another two inches and a half off there. So what? Maybe I'll layer them. Let's see. Oops, don't, don't fall. Um, you know what? Let's do a long one. Which way? Probably. Okay. So I'm just going to fold that in half. Get my little ticket edge here. I'm going to choose a ticket edge. This one in half. Get a little ticket edge. Corner, I mean, not edge. If I can get it in there. Just make sure I don't have to cut this down. Okay. Okay, I'm going to put a long tab this time. Of course, that could go on either side as well. Okay. I think that'll be cute. I, this the start of this was inspired by septeria but since these are really no way near like hers by the time I got finished however I did decide to do the extra decorating give you more ideas to use up every little piece of paper while you're at it. Okay, that's cute. And then I could make to make a little tag or something to put in that tuck. We're at 26. So 
So this is fun. I mean, you know, this is one of those things, not, not time consuming. Use scraps, use digitals, use whatever you want. And then just relax. Which I desperately need to do. I've been well words can't say. I just can't say. Okay, so let me see. I'll be going to Joanne's to buy another piece of that, probably. <laughs> and that's another one of those papers that normally would not be, you know, my first choice. But it's kind of cheerful and happy. Summary. You could put a little flower on there. You could turn that into a little um, shaker. All kinds of things you could do. So let me just see if I can make a little tag to tuck in there. Are you going to fit without... Now that's going to need a tiny trim. Okay, let me make that's one and a half. Let me make a little two little tags to tuck in there. And then this will be filled and complete and give you enough ideas between the two of them. To have a fun little project and then that's all I have left. That is six and a half by three and three quarters. Not bad. Okay, tag topper. And it is so hot and muggy, and I was this this would really be my kind of summer. <laughs> I was so happy. And now it's it's kind of getting to me a little bit. We need rain. So I think I'm going to go with a medium. For this. And that needs a little sliver off the bottom. I put my thing away. Although, you know what? It doesn't necessarily have to tuck in there the whole way. So there's a little... Let me get my punch. Get a hole in there. Two for one. Oh, and I'll tell you what else. Um, when I get around to it, where'd my other bow go? 
She made these little bows without an envelope punch board. Oh, it looks so cute there. Okay. And a piece of paper. There you go, your little pocket insert. One, two pockets. A little belly band on the back. And a little three by four card in the pocket. And that took a total of 32 minutes. So that's what I have for you this week. And um, as soon as I figure out how to do it in a mini size, hopefully next time I'll have a much better pro uh, project. But again, if you just want to relax, use up some of your scraps. I'll probably put this in three, three um, playlists: Scrap Buster and um, Easy Summertime Paper Crafts. And there you go, everyone. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks again for everything. Have a great week. I'll see you next time. Bye.